Hello guys and welcome back to If Only April. In today's episode we're gonna be doing a small office makeover. So my space was a bit dark. As much as I loved my office, it kind of had like a bit of a rustic look and it was a bit dark for me. The tabletop was dark, you know, like the uh, chalkboard was a bit outdated and uh, so I wanted to have a space that's gonna be like more bright, more inviting, has like definitely has some yellow because you know I'm obsessed with yellow and uh, yeah have some boho elements. You know this popular boho style that's going around so this is the look that I was going for. Today I'm gonna show you how I painted the mural on my office wall and also uh, I'm gonna show you how I made the cute clay uh, coasters for my office. Stay till the end and I'm gonna get you on uh, some exciting news that I want to share with you and uh, yeah that's gonna change a lot of things. So let's just get started. It all came to this wall. So I was thinking that the cheapest and probably best, uh, easiest way to do something different with it is to paint it, to paint the wall. And I've been seeing all this beautiful color blocking um, designs all over the Pinterest and I wanted to try something like this. And plus, uh, if you see, I recently made the playground and I painted the climbing wall with all these like different colors and it looks so exciting and it makes me so happy to look at it. I chose these two colors, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them or I'm gonna dilute them in with white a little bit. Let's take it from there and see if I wanna add some more colors or if I'll actually be forced to repaint it all. So the background is more bright and more inviting for making videos. So yes, are you ready? My room is basically ready for paint and oh my god, I'm so nervous. I don't know how it's gonna turn out and to be honest, I just don't want to repaint the whole uh, room white. So because it's gonna be a lot of work. <laughs> It's so crazy, I'm actually nervous and excited at the same time. Ah, is it crazy? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> it's definitely better to do this with uh, some sort of bounty or paper towel. But whatever works. So to make the circle, I don't have, uh, I don't know, the form, you know, like that would trace the circle perfectly. So what I came up with is just like a thread and then I, I have my pencil on the other hand and I'm gonna lead it through probably I'm gonna nail this thing you know like to the to the wall I'm gonna drive it through and really hope that it's gonna work but um, we're gonna find out if it will or not I mean, it's almost perfect. Almost is the key word in here. I really hope that the paint can cover this pencil because it's all over the place. This color makes me so happy, I'm already very excited.
Yeah! Well, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, but uh, I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll see if it actually needs another coat or I'm gonna leave it like that. Or maybe I'm gonna add something. I don't know yet. As I bring in the furniture, I slowly love it. I mean, I think, yeah, seriously, this is so grown on me. And by the way, when the paint dried, it's the strokes are less and less visible, so I was worried for no reason. Ah! So I decided that this is not enough and I'm going to do a few more arches and half arches. Yeah, so let's see how it's gonna go. I absolutely love the table top that I had before and that I made last summer and if you want to find how I made it you can find it on my blog uh, www.ifonlyapril.com The tabletop was like very very rustic looking and farmhouse stuff. The tabletop made out of the of oak and uh, that was like my first expensive project and I was like so scared to to mess it up but uh, I didn't and it turned out lovely and uh, I absolutely loved it for a year but now I thought it was time to brighten it up a little bit so I was planning to send it send it down and then uh, stain it again but when I did it I was so surprised to find out that uh, stain actually acts differently on all the types of wood so if you can see the shell that I made uh, later that day and the tabletop it was stained with this exactly the same stain but uh, it turned out different absolutely different colors so two hours of me sanding down this table actually went to uh, nothing because after I stained it again with the way brighter stain which was actually a natural oak and it became so dark and was still dark so I decided to get rid of it altogether but wait a second I'm not getting rid of it rid of it I actually have another project for it and I'm gonna make a dining table eventually out of it but that's definitely gonna be later wood on one side flush so I can cut uh, both of them and get the same length of the of the shelf.
So I also made a decision to get rid of my uh, rustic looking uh, old wooden tabletop and, and change it for this awesome electronic standing desk. My back definitely tells me thank you for that. I'm gonna leave you the link below for this uh, desk in the description, but um, yes, I absolutely recommend it. It's so amazing. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is really exciting project, but unfortunately, I have to tell you something. I made this mural a couple of months ago. So while I absolutely love the look of this office, last week, me and my husband, we decided that we're gonna do something absolutely crazy which is uh, move both of our cats to the same bedroom which means that we're gonna go to our younger daughter, uh, daughter's bedroom and this office is gonna become uh, our kids playroom and guess what and I'm gonna have a huge massive bedroom with full of light and everything and I'm so excited about that move and I feel that there's gonna be so much content to create for you guys this is just going to be an amazing couple of months so you stay tuned subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will be back next week with something super exciting. So yeah! You know, I call it my, I call it a global migration because we're literally gonna exchange four rooms and I got four rooms that I have to redo.